Hello everybody, today I'm a very unusual site in a place called Missley Fawn in Essex. In fact, I'm actually standing in what remains of the cemetery of St Mary the Virgin Church. The original church that once occupied the centre of the two towers was created in the early 18th century by a wealthy landowner by the name of Richard Rigby. After Rigby died, his son, also named Richard, decided to improve on the original church, which had a rather plain hip roof with a portico entrance. So in 1776, he commissioned the great Scottish architect named Robert Adam to build two ornate towers in the neoclassical design to cap either end of the original structure. This configuration survived until 1870 when it was decided to demolish the church and build another in nearby New Road where it still stands to this day. Fortunately though the towers were preserved and today they are maintained by the local council and English heritage. Access to the towers can be gained by collecting a key from a nearby key holder. And that's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to be able to get into both of the towers and see whether or not I can determine, A, whether it's haunted, and if so, whether I can capture EVP or some other type of anomaly. So thank you and join me. Any friend spirits in this building? Could you identify yourself, please? Could you tell me who you are? It's very cold in here, but then, of course, it's a stone tower. It's a very pleasant atmosphere, and my head is spinning a little bit. <laughs> it's a very nice here. Although there are a number of gravestones in here, I'm not actually picking up anybody that I can relate to you and describe. Just feelings.
There's a very, very strong smell of a lady's perfume. It's so sweet, so beautiful. It's very, very weird. Please, could you tell me your name? Please don't be shy. That sweet smell is back again. I'm not picking up any imagery of the owner of that sweet perfume. It's, it's certainly female. It's, uh, it's such a sweet, gentle smell. I can still feel an atmosphere here. So, I'm hopeful there was some EVP. We're going to go now to the other town and see what we can pick up there. It's a lot more interesting in here. There's a number of prints showing the original design of the site, also architect drawings and projected views of what it would have looked like originally. And it's quite a magnificent structure of the original church. And it's just a tragedy. It is a tragedy that these buildings are no longer. And all we have left today is the tower. The two towers of this doesn't feel so intense, it feels much, to use a word I suppose, it feels much more present, Margo, there's no pressure here at all. This is probably the most attractive of the two towns, architecturally speaking. And it has the original Ten Commandments, which would have been in the original church, and also a number of painted wall plaques, unfortunately badly faded, but quoting verse from the Bible. This is very, very 18th century. And to think I'm standing in a building which was erected in 1776 and it's still here. It's just amazing. Okay, what I'm going to try and do now is to tune in and see whether I can capture some type of EVP, hopefully, or other anomalies. It feels quieter here. Um, for some reason, it's not so noisy with the traffic. So I'm hopeful we will be able to get a reasonably good response from this tower. There's somebody here now with me, an old man. Quite bald, very thick eyebrows, white eyebrows, with very thick grey beard. And pressure on the side of my head. He's trying to communicate with me. Could you tell me who you are, please? In the city, Braithwaite. Adam Braithwaite. And there are others. 
is a lady wearing a wide bonnet hat. Brown hair. Not fat, stocky. At that time, very middle class. She's very connected to this church. Sorry, you were too close again. Please, could you stand up? I get tremendous pressure sometimes on the side of my head when the spiritual presence is just a little bit too close. As I left the final tower, my thoughts were on the spiritual nature of both properties. Without an issue of doubt, both were spiritually active, but with the ingress of the modern world it had a damping effect upon daytime activity, and as I later discovered, only one piece of EVP was captured. However, I am certain that in the dead of night, when the living are asleep, those in spirit at this site will take back the towers into their own world. I should love the opportunity of returning here one night to perform a full investigation. But as with many interesting sites, the likelihood is improbable. Thank you for sharing your time with me at Missley Towers, and until next time.